Hey friends, my name is Chef Josh and I'd like to welcome you back to the city of Norland here in City Skylines and I hope everyone out there is having a great day today. In today's episode, we are going to build a diverging diamond interchange to give some more connectivity to the highway in preparation of some high density assets down the road. But also today, I'd like to introduce the first taste of the mid-century modern content creator pack, which we have yet to add to the wonderful city of Norland. But today is that day where it gets added. So sit back, grab a cold drink, a good meal, and let's start building together. Okay, so starting off from the diamond intersection here that we have that leads into our historic district, this is where I want the highway to lead into. So we're just going to bring this road all the way up to the train tracks and then past the train tracks. And here is where our diamond interchange will lie. And this will also give us a connection across the highway, just the way that it sets up. So when we decide to build on the other side, we already have a connection to the highway. But I'm just going to clear out all these trees over here to give us a little bit of a clean palette to work with. But after that, we will start building. I'll see you in a second. So the trees are cleared out and now I also notice that if you come into the terrain height here there is a bit of a terrain height issue here so I think I'm going to just pause the game for a second and level this all out to the height of our connecting road here so let's just pause the game real quick and let's uh, turn this up and let's just get rid of a piece of the highway and now we will come into our terrain tools here and let's just all level it to that height and we'll just quickly reconnect the highway as well should just be as easy as straightforward here until they connect and the other way so there is a slight dip in the highway but i think i'm okay with it as you can see the trucks and all that are kind of levitating so definitely brought it down by a little bit but i'm cool with that okay so we can actually turn this back on and sort of let them reset a little bit here but um now let's start building our diverging diamond interchange. And this uh, design does come from Overcharged Egg. Uh, he recently built this on his noobs guide, I believe it was. And so we're just going to basically do the same sort of design here. And I just want to be as close as I can right there. And we're going to go up by three steps. Just bring it straight across there and then same thing on this side and we just needed that road in the middle to get the grid lay up there lay out there rather not lay up we're not playing basketball we'll just get rid of all this and now we can take this road and bring it down and we'll deal with directions that's going in in a second and just going down by 12 gives it a nice smooth descent back to the ground here. There we go. And now all I want to do is use the freeform tool to connect this in. Bring it up to about there and in. And then same thing with this guy up to about there and in. And then we can just change the directions like that. So we're actually going to change the directions of these as well. Uh, no, you need to turn around. And then these need to turn around. All right. So and the next thing we're going to do is from this point here, I just want to make sure that we're on the same amount on this side so we'll go up to about here and then another 10 straight to the middle okay 
and then now we know that this road can carry out this way and now we can delete this and we can connect these two into it as well so again we'll take the one way with the freeform tool come out a little bit and again come out a little bit and in all right, so now we got those connections going, and the next thing we're going to work on is the slip lanes to the highway. All right, so for the slip lanes, we're going to use again the one-way road here, and we're going to make sure we're on straight. And I just want to bring this out maybe like on a 45 degree angle to about maybe 1600, I think. Should be pretty good. And again... 45 to about 1600 and we'll do the same thing on this side I kind of like that it snaps at like the 45 degree angle and again 1600 and then we will worry about connecting these in just a second but I also want to add in the slip lanes for this part of it as well and again we're just going to go straight and we'll go I guess 67 is a good number so there we go then again on this one 67 and again 67 and as for connecting into the highway I think I'm going to go, I want to see how far this goes down. So it goes down to about here. So I think at this node here, I'm just going to add a quick little segment. And I'll do the same thing on this one for a slip lane. And then that's where the connection can be. And then we'll just take the curve tool. And we'll line it up and we'll go like that. And then same thing for this guy. Curve tool and in. And then this can just connect right in. Maybe by 10 if I can get it. Or can we do maybe straight? There we go. So do that by 360 and hopefully we can do the same on this one. Yep. So we've got our connection and we'll fix the directions of that. Now this one's going to be a little bit tighter just because we're sort of working with the edge of the map. So I think if we bring it out right here by 10. Now will it let, let me get it in here? It will, just in the nick of time. So again, we'll take this node, go up by 10. If it'll let me, I might have to turn off the snapping to that which actually I apologize I need that back on just for now there we go it let me do it and we got in there just in the nick of time again and again I think we'll just use the curve road tool to curve in like that and again like that actually there we go so we can fix the directions here. So this guy is coming in this way. Okay, so that means this one gets flipped as well. And like that. And then is this guy all good? Yep, yep, yep. All the way in. And then this one needs to get flipped. And we're going the opposite way. So we need to go this way. Sorry, truck, I just derailed your whole situation. And then this one, are we good? Yes, I believe so. All right, so that is, as far as I'm concerned, the nuts and the bolts of the uh, interchange here. So the traffic does cross across the road and once people start coming in which maybe we can speed this up 
get some cars to take this. We can also downgrade this highway to a two lane. So that we get that dedicated turn lane since we are on console and do not have access to traffic manager. We can do our own little lane mathematics. And again, this way we can do the two lane if we wanted to, which we will. There we go all the way up. And then this can actually be turned into maybe we do a singular lane coming off from here for a little while. And then right at the end there, maybe like a two lane or we could just go all the way up. Again, we could do it here, maybe with all these ramps. Or maybe we leave, you know what, why don't we leave just a small amount of the two lane here to help out maybe two segments and here two segments. And then for the rest, we can do the so two segments and then we'll switch over to the one way ramp. Again, all the way up for and we'll leave about two segments worth. So people have a chance to get into the lane they need to. But here we go. We do see people using it. And let me just make sure things are all good. You do want the traffic light on, traffic light on. Everything else should be good, though. But we do have a few people already using it, which is great to see. So you see they cross across like that. And uh, it's uh, pretty satisfying to watch, actually. But um, there we go. We've got our... Built our first interchange onto the highway, and actually, this is my first time ever building a diverging diamond ever uh, in City Skylines. And like I said, I, I did see it on Overcharged Egg's website, or uh, video rather, and I decided to give it a go, and I'm really liking how it looks. So, there we go. And we do have a few people using it already, so that makes me happy. But, very, very cool. Now, the next thing we wanted to talk about was adding in some of the mid-century modern pack. And I think I'd like to do something a little bit fun with this area. This is where we're going to put the mid-century modern pack uh, theme. And I think I'd like to use the European four-lane stone bridge. Um, actually, first, before we do that, I think I'm going to use the just the regular four-lane and I'd like to come up to about here and then come up by two and then one more sort of crossover and then down by one and then down by two more. And then we can change this center one to that bridge. And it doesn't look like it likes that, so maybe we can... Might have to rebuild this just a little bit. So we have to come up by a little bit more. There we go. So it just adds a little bit of... Maybe this needs to be replanned a little bit. What do we think? Maybe we come up by 12. Just keep that white along all the way and even here we can come out by 12 again back down to earth and then we'll just bring this road up and then the thing that i think i'd like to try and it's more for just an aesthetic thing than it is for functionality but if they wanted to get to the highway from this let's give them Let's have a little bit of fun with the connection. So I'm thinking if we did like a little slip lane underneath here to about here. And then what is that? A five curve. So five by five. And then we can do this 10 by 10 and then just connect these up. And then we can do another 
five. So something like that. You can flip the, actually this one's going to go that way. So flip you around, flip you around, you and you. So if you wanted to get to that road, you would slip off of this exit coming this way, come off that, and then get onto that road and go whichever way you're like thinking about going. And then we can do the same thing on this side. So why don't we try to keep things sort of the same. So there's about three blocks. Are you going to give me a hard time? So maybe we can try it without it and then just rebuild that road. We can curve into here. Do another five by five curve. And then link it up. So again, if you're coming off this way, change the direction, you would take that. And then now let's just put our bridge back together here. So it doesn't like how close it is. So maybe we come across just a little bit further. All right. Might have to do a total little rebuild here, but we will get it because I want the arches in the center. All right, there we go. So we got the archers in the center, and it just gives it a little bit of something different, and we can actually turn off the lights over here, I believe. Maybe we give these guys a stop? Let's see how that goes. If it becomes too much, then we can always amend that. I just would like to keep the traffic coming to the highway and from the highway a little bit free. So the time has come. Let us paint out a district here for the mid-century modern pack. I'm very excited to see what these assets look like and uh, to have them in the city of Norland here. I think we're going to paint out this entire section here. And I think we're going to name this after a fellow console player and also just a supporter of the channel uh the you will be offended uh donnie this is for you buddy and i hope that you guys check out his channel it is he does some streams on sunday and uh his is very entertaining and he does some cool stuff he's also a fellow console player like i said so there you go you you will be offended park Donnie, there you go. A little section in New Orleans just for you, buddy, okay? But I think we're going to use some of the new streets as well that we got, uh, which are in here. I think I'd like to use the two-lane with median. And I think we're just going to come off of this and come down to about here. Because I want, like, a park to kind of sit in the middle of this. And maybe we give them a connection here to the main road. And I sort of want a park to kind of sit right at the entrance here. Obviously, it won't centralize perfectly, but that's okay. And I think I also want another road kind of behind it that we can connect through. So maybe up to about... Or maybe we come from this way. So let's do this. And then I just want to leave enough to get some good coverage for that. There we go. I think that's okay. And we can connect this up with some paths. So bring this guy out. And this one. Is it going to let me? It is not, it doesn't look like. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 
bring this one out and already connected at the front there and we will detail this up in just a little bit but i just want to get the rest of the roads laid down so that way we can see some of the new uh content creator pack buildings um like i said very excited about this <laughs> Cool. So these are the first of the mid-century modern pack here in Norland. And I love the swimming pools in the back with the little, um, you know, like beach chairs and the umbrellas and stuff. It almost reminds me of the uh, self-sufficient housing with that very low flat kind of look. But very cool. A lot of windows in the in the houses, I guess, huh? This one's got like a garage, it looks like. Very cool. So this area will obviously take a little bit of time to fill in, but we will just kind of let it do its thing while we do a few more of these. I just want to add a few more paths to some of the main road, but I think we're just going to let this build in. And I think honestly, this is probably a good time to hop into some detailing. So why don't we let this kind of keep coming in and uh, do a little detailing and I'll see you on the other side. So I really like how this area turned out. Um, let's just go over a little bit of a few things that I did during the time lapse. I didn't videotape everything, but here's the park that we had placed in the center. I added a few of the food truck um, assets from the new plazas and promenades. 
along with some of the um, park life city park assets. There's the cafe and the restroom. And then on this side, we've got the jungle gym for the kids. And I was able to kind of set it off the road a little bit, added some trees as if like that's the entrance to it. Uh, add in one of these fountains and a little handmade food truck area with a few of the assets and um, it's just some tables and tile. And here's a few of the ice cream shops as well. Gazebo. But this is a bustling little park. I was kind of watching it as I was detailing. I mean, there's just troves of people coming through here. So that's that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad I added that in and it just brings it more to life. Other than that, we just had a little bit of trees here and there. Added um, a one of the diners here with some of the rhododendrons on the side. And just some, I alternated some office and commercial. And we just gave it a few more connections to the main road here. Traffic is kind of moving. Over here, we added a little bit of a basketball court along with some of these... I'm not really sure what those are called, to be honest with you. Um, the They are in the <clears throat> plazas and promenades, uh, these assets here. They are called a pergola. So we added a few of the pergolas with some uh, benches and a few of the new food truck uh, props and a little ice cream stand and a basketball court and another diner here with some parking next to it. And just kind of added in some trees over here next to the bridge. Along here, I kind of did the same thing where I added some alternating commercial with the uh, office setting. And I did historicalize everything so it'll just sort of stay how it is now. But I really like how this little area turned out. Um, Donnie, uh, the You Will Be Offended park i hope you are happy with this here that's it for me today though i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did leaving a like below commenting and sharing and doing all those cool things really help out the channel but that is it for me and until next time goodbye from norland i hope you all have a great rest of your day have a good one